This is Tom Dillon, The Lifetime Liberal, and today is Wednesday, December 25th, 2019. The title of this rant is U.S. Ocean and Land Agriculture Needs a 21st Century New Deal. Uh, so first off, Merry Christmas to everyone and Happy Holidays to everyone. I know that many other religions besides Christianity have significant religious holidays during this time period. Uh, and let's just say, I don't think that any one religion is superior to any other religion. I've had enough of them all, I think. But let's get to this. So, most of this I got from Elizabeth Warren's webpage as her and all of her Democratic colleagues <coughs> have put out very strong position papers on U.S. <clears throat> uh, land agriculture and ocean agriculture, things that we must do to dramatically change to make, let's just say, make our world a better place for future generations. So right now, speaking about the land, agriculture, we know that about one-third of the gas emissions in the United States is a result of our mm, farming practices. And those emissions are due to double by the year 2050. So again, that's only 30 years ago. 30 years ago. Uh, I mean, Jesus, 1990 is a blink in the eye for all of us older people, and it's almost 2020. So we need, uh, in, in terms of the land, uh, ecological and uh, regenerative practices. And by this, I mean which we rely on storing carbon in the soil and using the, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, a nominal amount of fossil fuels, meaning getting rid of as much fossil fuel energy uh, as possible. And of course, this can be done. We've done it on a small scale. We need to increase it tremendously. And of course, by saying that, the policy set forth, what, this needs to be done in all of the states, in all of the crops, and talking, again, multiple crops, multiple yields, multiple methods, multiple investment in different areas of the climate, uh, in different areas of the United States where climate is different. And of course, this can be done. Uh, and again, we also need to make a very, very strong emphasis uh, on our family farms and getting away from the big agriculture and also in our black owned farms uh, that basically got screwed for a hundred years in terms of uh, U.S. agricultural loans, etc. like that. We need to invest heavily in these areas. And in terms of ocean farming, uh, first off, we need to have an incredible policy that the coastal areas of the United States, where almost 40% of the population live, um, we have to have, a, has to be a key component in terms of the solution to climate change. Uh, again, 40%, I mean, 15 years, where is Miami going to be if we are not going to invest heavily on how to deal with that change in terms of the risings of the ocean? But in terms of agriculture within uh, the, uh, the oceans, we need to leverage uh, as much regenerative ocean farming practices as possible. And that would include ocean habitat restoration. So we're talking about uh, uh, the coral reefs. We're talking about fish hatcheries, many, many other things. Community-based fisheries, fishing communities. Uh, whereas we don't have that now, we have to get back to that. And restorative ocean farming. And this restorative ocean farming it can pay a huge dividend for us uh, down the line as we can uh, invest in vertical ocean farming. And uh, in vertical ocean farming, and we're talking about seaweed, we're talking about raising scallops, raising mussels, raising clams, raising oysters. And if we could do this in just 5% of the coastal waters off the United States, uh, uh, we could, in essence, produce the equivalent protein on an annual basis of three trillion cheeseburgers. And guess what? If we could produce that equivalent of three trillion cheeseburgers, guess what? We wouldn't have to have that investment in water 
that we would need to do on land to, to raise that. We would need to have the equivalent of that in fertilizer, nor in feed. So we can get tremendous benefits if we do this. And what else will that do? It will sequester millions, they say up to 135 million tons of carbon per year, 10 million tons of nitrogen per year. And of course, the biggest thing about it all is that we can do this at the same time that we are increasing jobs in the United States by up to 50 million. Now, very quickly, we can do this. We have the technology now to invest in this. We have to have uh, a, a new deal for ocean and land agriculture. It will require a massive investment. If we could just take a billion or two billion uh, per year from the defense budget, which they don't need anyway, this would be a tremendous investment in future generations. But the question is, do we have the political will to do this? Because we are not seeing that political will from any of our Republican brothers and sisters. This has to be a, a forefront with health care by the Democrats in 2020.